Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing Chid Ching number 54, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, the first thing that I have, or shall I say ended off at, was a federal glass, this was like a milk glass uh, mug that had Richard Nixon on it. I got this at a, what they called an estate sale. Um, but it was more like a yard sale of items that was from an estate. Anyway, this sold for $39.99 and I probably paid about a dollar or less for it. Next we have a purse by The Sack. This was a really pretty uh, kind of like baby blue color. I paid $2 for this at a yard sale and it sold for $31.88. Next thing I have is a pair of uh, adult sized um, overall bibs, like bib overalls. I got these at a yard sale and I think I paid about $2 for them and those sold for $50. They did have a Winnie the Pooh kind of embroidery on the front. I actually purchased another pair that had Eeyore on and I still have yet to list them so hopefully I can get $50 for those as well um, but yeah that was a nice sale. It took a little while for those to sell but I remember they did have a lot of watchers. Next was a necklace. This um, was made out of and I'm going to butcher the name of this Do Mortierite yeah probably not anyway i got this necklace at a yard sale and i paid one dollar for it and that sold for 34 dollars and that did go to a subscriber next we have a vintage cat jewelry box so this was like a child's um, jewelry box like the kind we all had when we were younger that had the music box with the little spinning ballerina. I picked this up at Goodwill and I think I paid about $1.99 for it or potentially 99 cents. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but that ended up selling for, for $28. I kind of feel like that went to a subscriber. Uh, next item also went to a subscriber and this was a Grinch glass ornament. I picked this up at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for it and he sold for $19.99. I sold one of my vintage Franciscan pieces. Eric and I had won um, a bunch of these Franciscan atomic starburst pieces at an auction. We did pay up for them. I think this was the, I know I sold some other pieces and I can't remember how many I sold now. Anyway, this one was for a pitcher and that sold for $179.99. As one of the things I love about the auction is Yes, I do sometimes pay more for stuff, but you find such really nice quality pieces that are hard to stumble upon at yard sales and thrift stores and stuff like that because most of the stuff is coming from households where, you know, potentially someone might have passed or someone who is just looking to unload some of their more uh, higher end collectibles. That's why I really love auctions. Uh, next we have a vintage Furby. This one was actually called a Furby Babies. It was like a much smaller version of, you know, the regular sized Furbies. And this one also still had its original tag attached. I paid 75 cents, I believe, for it at a yard sale and it ended up selling for $39.99. So I don't know if that one was just a fluke or not, but I did recently purchase a Furby at a yard sale um, last week. So that hasn't showed up yet um, in any of my hauls or anything like that, but we're going to take another chance on a Furby and see where it goes. Uh, next was a pair of wedge kind of heeled sandals by Christian Siriano. These sold for 
$17.99. They were new with the tags, um, and I do think I got them for about a dollar at a yard sale. Those took a very long time to sell and didn't really sell for a lot, so that's kind of a brand I don't think that I would really pick up uh, going forward. Unless we have a set of two, these were the same exact pair of Fila workout shorts, except two different colors. One was pink and one was purple, so I just listed those together um, as a lot. Those sold for $15.99, and they both did come from a Fila bag rummage sale. I sold an Oscar the Grouch backpack. This actually was a GSP order, so it did end up going overseas. That sold for $14.99, and I'm pretty sure that also came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. These next three items all went to the same person, and um, it is a subscriber that purchased these. So the first was a set of Boyd's Cat Salt and Pepper Shakers. Those sold for $15.00. I also purchased a set, a matching set of the Boyd's cat plates. I had four of these and those sold for $21. And then she, she also purchased a Starbucks New York City mug and that sold for $22. So the Starbucks mug, where did that come from? A yard sale. The Starbucks mug came from a yard sale and I think I paid like 50 cents for that. And then the Boyd's items I also got at a yard sale. I actually got it from the same sale I got the Richard Nixon mug from. Um, so I can't remember exactly what I paid for uh, altogether because I got a couple of different things and you know how everything gets bundled so it's hard to say an exact price for stuff. I got so confused because I literally sold two, two different um, Christmas ornaments and they both went to subscribers. So the one I talked about earlier, it was a Grinch ornament. Um, it sold for the same amount, so it doesn't matter, Michelle. Yeah, same thing. Okay, nix that. Um, I also sold a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. These were all like brand new, still in their packaging. So that went to a subscriber and those sold for $19.99. Those came from, um, some of you guys will remember a barn sale last year where I made out like a bandit on um, a bunch of vintage Christmas items. Um, those came from the sale, that sale. Uh, next we have a OMC Japan Owl. This sold for $19.99 and um, that came from a yard sale and I probably paid about a dollar for it. I sold an Anna Lee. This was a boy dressed up like a pirate. It was kind of like a Halloween Anna Lee doll. Uh, that sold for $19.99. And it came from a yard sale, and I'm pretty sure I paid about $3, I want to say, for that. I sold a vintage, this was a spaghetti trim Napco lady, and she came with some spaghetti trim poodle do dogs. I almost said dolls. <laughs> and that sold for $19.99. I think that did go to a subscriber. I actually have another one of these to sell but it's missing the chain. Like she was holding a chain and this one that sold, uh, but the other one that I have, it has dogs, but it doesn't have that chain that attaches them. That's why I haven't listed it yet, but it will be listed at some point. Uh, next we have a jeweled boho style elephant. I'm pretty sure this went to a subscriber as well and that sold for $12.99. This came from an auction. It was kind of like in a box lot of other items that I had won at an auction. 
I sold a watch. This was by Citizen. That sold for $11.99 and I got that at a yard sale. I probably paid about $0.25 cents to $0.50 cents for it. I know that the face of it, I do believe, had some scratches on it. Um, next, I sold two uh, Tonala style Mexican um, owls. These were really cute. I picked these up at a yard sale. I feel like I paid, what did I pay for those? I don't feel like, potentially $5 a piece. Potentially. I can't remember though. Anyway, um, I listed them together and they sold for $29.99. I sold a rainbow colored emoji poop plush for $4.99 that did go to a subscriber and that came from Goodwill. Um, at Goodwill, they bag a lot of their stuffed animals together. So even if there's just only one thing that I really want out of the bag, I still do list the rest of the stuffed animals that were in the bag. Um, so that's awesome that that sold. I sold a vintage crimper, a hair crimper by Windmere. I got this at a yard sale for $2. It was still in its original packaging and that sold for $29.99. I sold a Yankee candle, um, candle holder. This was a Christmas themed candle holder. It was of Santa in his sleigh and it kind of looked like he was taking off from a rooftop. I did pay $10 for this at an auction and that sold for $39.99. Next we have a pair of jeans. These were by a company called Cut From The Cloth. They came from a fill and bag rummage sale. Being slightly hesitant about them to begin with because they were a petite size and petite sizes usually um, don't sell really well for me. But I remember I looked them up and surprisingly petite sizes in that brand were still selling decently. So I picked them up and those sold for $22.99. I sold a Victoria's Secret body spray in the scent Snow Mint for $23.99 and that came from a yard sale and I probably paid about $2 for it. I sold a vintage Samsonite pink purse. This was like a carry-on bag. Um, it was like a luggage style bag, you know, it had a lock and everything like that. That sold for $59.99 and I got that at a yard sale along with like two other pieces of matching pink Samsonite luggage. I still have the luggage. I haven't sold those pieces yet just because they're so big. Um, but you know, I did sell the purse for a decent amount. So hopefully whenever I do get around to listing that luggage, it sells for a good price as well. I sold a top by Soft Surroundings. Um, I got this at Goodwill not that long ago and that sold for $39.99 and that was another GSP order that did go overseas. I sold a dress by Sammy and Joe. This also went to a subscriber and I got this dress at a fill bag rummage sale. That sold for $19.99. This next item was a lot of two vintage books. These were called the Parlorian Cats. Um, they were really cute children's books that featured like pictures of these like actual cats, um, just kind of like photographed in like realistic type of ways. And I won this whole box of books at the auction for a dollar. And I pretty much only wanted the box specifically for these two books because when I looked them up I had seen that they were selling pretty well. Well turns out I won the box and there were other books within that box that I have made pretty good money on. So that's really awesome. These books particularly they sold for $39.99 which is pretty good for two vintage kids books. Next item we have is a top by a company called Baldini. This was a cold shoulder style top. That sold for $12.99 and 
Did you think that I wasn't going to have an item that was from the Facebook Marketplace garbage bag of clothes? Because here it is. It's always one in my cha-ching. Next, we have another set of Tanala Mexican pottery owls. This was a set of three. These were like much smaller. Those sold for $19.99 and they did come from a yard sale. So I probably spent maybe a dollar on them. So the next three items um, were all Monster High dolls. I had purchased a uh, like a tote box full of Monster High dolls at a yard sale for $20. And I was doing pretty well with that lot. Uh, so the first one that we have is the Claudine doll. She sold for $19.99. Next, we have another Monster High. This one was called Vandala Doubloon was her name. So she was a little more um, sought after kind of thing. So she sold for $26. We also have another Monster High doll. This one is called Avia Trotter and she sold for $19.99 as well. I sold a pair of Adidas wedge style sneakers for $44.99, I did pick these up at a thrift store and I feel like I might have paid about $6 for them. Next was a vintage bright yellow mushroom pot holder. I got this at a yard sale for 25 cents and that sold for $12.99. Next I have a set of two Body Fantasies body sprays. Those sold for $15.99. And then the last thing that I have for this chiching video was a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles candy mold that sold for $11.99. And that came from a yard sale. I probably paid about a quarter to 50 cents for it. So at the end of the video, I talk about any kind of problems that have arisen lately on eBay. Um, out of this, all of these items within this chiching, only one of them was a non-pain bitter, though I'm still experiencing the <laughs> the the problems of non-pain bitters that hasn't gone away. Um, so that's one ongoing problem. And then you guys will remember I in some of my other chichings I was mentioning the Tina Turner jacket fiasco and the fact that the return was opened and everything like that. Well, the person never sent back the Tina Turner jacket and eBay allowed for the return to stay open for like way longer than it was supposed to. Like it was supposed to close um, and then it just didn't close and I had to contact eBay for business. Um, so it finally is closed now. <laughs> they never sent the jacket back. So my money is finally in my account. But that was like, I feel like returns just take forever, especially when the people don't actually um, ship the item back. It's just such a, a waste of time and your money gets hung up and you're not able to access that money. And it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, but other than that, everything is going really well. I think my sales are pretty decent. I keep hearing about the summer slowdown and everything like that. Um, but I still think things are chugging along pretty good. So you guys have to let me know how things are um, for your sales. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.